Hey everyone, welcome to this video and today I'm going to show you how to install MSI Afterburner and how to set up the on-screen display to see your frame rate and other information regarding your hardware on MSI Afterburner. So first I'm going to show you how to download and install it. So you need to head up to this site guru3d.com. I'll leave the link in the description of this video and then go down to this page and you should see some download locations, some different versions of MSI Afterburner. The latest currently is 4.6.5 as I'm making this video. And this is a stable version. There are other times there will be some more options to download beta. And I personally recommend downloading beta versions because they generally have uh, fixes applied to them. So go ahead and download those if you want. Otherwise, just stay in the stable version. So after you're done downloading, you should see the setup exe and then we start the setup and click on next accept next so when you come to this screen of the setup make sure you have a river tuner statistics server ticked on and we, along with the msi afterburner and then click on next and then click on next and it should install and i'm not going to install it because i already have it installed so once you're done installing msi afterburner you should go ahead and start it up and it should come up like this. You might have a different uh, theme, but it's generally this default one which comes up. And at the background, you should also see Riva Tuner Statistics Server run up as well. If not, then uh, go to the Start menu and search it up and just run it up. And there it is, Riva Tuner Statistics Server. And it's generally running in your system tray. So if it's not running by default, just go ahead and run it up just like I did. So now we have both MSI Afterburner and Riva Tuner Statistics Server on screen. I'm, I'm going to get rid of the Riva Tuner Statistics Server. So just minimize it. Don't close it. It goes into your system tray. Now we come to MSI Afterburner and you can do overclocking in this area or undervolting. And we, we are not going to do any of the, that stuff. In here, you can also see your driver version currently installed. You can control your fan speeds and set up different overclock profiles if you want, but we are not doing any of those here. We are just here to set up the on-screen display. So you click on this cog icon or the settings, and if you want, you can start it up with Windows and start minimized if you want that to run every time on your PC startup. So let's leave all of these settings and just straight away go to monitoring tab and you should see all of these list of uh, items like GPU temps, GPU usage, and there's a lot more down here. There are CPU stuff, RAM, frame rate, and a lot going on here. So for now, take the ones which we need on the on-screen display in our game, like the GPU temperature, if you want that, just click on this, make sure this is ticked on, and then tick this one. So show in on-screen display, it should say, in OSD or on-screen display. And once you take that, then we do the G GPU usage as well. Show in on-screen display. You can do the GPU VRAM usage. The more, uh, the pretty much the important ones I'm gonna take, the GPU core usage, show in on-screen display. Memory clock, the GPU memory clock, the power. This one shows in watts and this one shows in percent. So we're gonna do the watts one the GPU power consumption in watts. You can see the fan speeds if you want. And there are a lot more stuff you can do. And then we have the CPU stuff in here. For the CPU, there are, you will see multiple CPU temperature and CPU usage. These all show up as the number of cores and threads you have on your CPU. So regarding that, it shows up. So what you're gonna look for is the whole CPU package temperature if you want that. Just go to the CPU temperature. This is the whole CPU package temperature and click on show in on-screen display. And then for the same for the CPU usage, these are all core thread uh, uh, temperature. And then we go to the CPU usage, as you can see, this is the core, uh, the core package usage. So we take that on and same goes for clock. If you want that, we can turn it on, show in OSD and then we have the RAM and the CPU power as well in watts, it, it's gonna show up. Then we have the RAM usage, the system RAM usage. So we're gonna click that, show an on-screen display. So now comes the frame rate part. So by default, these are not ticked. 
So what I'm going to do is take all of these because we're going to bring them all up on screen. So frame rate, we're going to show an on-screen display, frame time, graph. The frame time, this is not the graph. For the graph, we're going to need to overwrite the graph. So we have frame time minimum, frame time average, frame time maximum. And then we have frame rate 1% low and 0.1% low. So we're going to do all of these show in OSD. So as you can see, the minimum frame rate, maximum frame rate, and the average frame rate, all we will get to see. And after doing all these, make sure you click apply. So after this, we go to the on-screen display tab up here, and we need to set a key to toggle our on-screen display in the game. So by default, I'm going to use this key, numpad star. For my, you can set your own. Show on-screen display, hide on-screen display. So you generally don't need these two. You can do the toggle on-screen display and you can just press that to show and hide anyway. So next one, we need to go to the benchmark tab. Now we have the begin recording and end recording hotkey to set up. So what this does is if you don't set this up, you can't see your 1% low, the minimum, the maximum, the average frame rate, none of that you won't be able to see. So what I'm gonna do is begin the recording with the numpad plus and end it with numpad minus. You can set your own keys completely, that's fine. So after doing all these, just click on apply down here and press okay. This should let you have your on-screen display in the game. So, so here we are inside the game guys. And as you can see, there is our all the stats from the MSI Afterburner, which we turned on. First, you can see at the top left corner, the GPU temperature is appearing the GPU usage is next to it and the GPU memory clock and the uh, GPU power watts consumption. It all shows up there. And we also have in the next row is the memory usage, the GPU memory usage and the GPU memory clock. Sorry, the one above is the core clock, the 1950, my bad. So then we have the CPU in blue color, as you can see, 68 degrees Celsius, 29% cpu usage the cpu core clocks the package core clock and the package temperatures and the package wattage as well so around 100 watts being consumed and then we have the ram usage system memory usage and then finally it says d3d12 or whatever the game engine is running on that is directx 12 right now this game cyberpunk so if you're running a vulcan based game it should show Vulcan in there instead of DX12 and as you can see the frame rate we're getting is 80 frames now and after that is the frame time but we did turn on the 1% low minimum maximum average as well but they won't show up unless you hit the begin recording key which is numpad plus for me so I'm gonna press that and there we go as you can see now it is appearing right there the 76 79 81 is probably the average frame 89 is the max frames then we have the 1% low and the 0.1% low at the end that is 65 how this looks is very like confusing right like which one is what it's very difficult to understand so in msi afterburner you can do a lot of customization as well so you might have noticed in my benchmark videos that i have it set up in a different way they don't appear like this so what what i'm gonna do is now show you some basic customization of these uh, statistics on your uh, on-screen display. So here I am back in the MSI Afterburner. We're gonna hit the cog, go to the monitoring settings. And uh, here we have the first setting is the GPU temperature. So another thing you can do is to customize, you can move these up and down, okay? So if I move GPU usage above the GPU temperature, the GPU usage would show up first and then the GPU temperature. So let's keep the GPU usage at first. So I click on that. Now, what I can do is to change or to categorize it separately from all the other stats. What I gotta do is click on that, then click on override group name and name this to GPU use, okay? You can uh, type your own stuff in there and click apply. I'll do the same for the GPU temperature. Override group name, GPU, let's call it GPU temp. Now, I won't do all of these. I'll just show you some so you can understand and do the rest on your own. Go to the CPU temperature, click on override group name, CPU temp, okay.
now what I'm gonna do is go back to the game and so as you can see they are all being categorized separately now as you can see GPU usage it actually says GPU use the GPU temp now it's very easy to understand which stat is what if you have categorized them properly inside the settings so as you can see we can see all our stats pretty much and understand what is what so you might notice that I have a black uh, background opaque background behind this statistics by default you may not have it in order to achieve that so we open up the RTSS in short this is Reba Tuner statistics server and here you can actually zoom in your uh, FPS counter as well I mean the statistics it's, it's gonna be in larger size it's gonna appear I'm gonna show you in a second and then to get the background fill you just need to click on this show background fill okay display fill as you can see so we will leave all the settings how they were I'm just gonna increase it one size by default and go back inside the game so as you can see the on-screen display is way larger now than before because we increased the size and we have the background fill as well even though we had it turned on at the background I'm just gonna turn that off I just like it that way with the fill it's much easier to see in some scenarios as you can see the fill is completely gone Whoa. You just hit me there so every time you say change any settings guys make sure you end the recording with your hotkey mine is numpad minus and then for a fresh recording you just click the numpad plus for me that is the begin recording the begin benchmark key and it should refresh all the counters and to hide it you can click the star button for me it's numpad star and you can set your own to toggle on the display on and off so this will be it guys for this video i hope this is helpful i've seen many people asking in my videos that how do i see the frame rate and all the stats inside the game so this one was for them i hope this helps if you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments below of this video and i hope you guys have a wonderful time ahead and see you guys later take care bye